here with Scott Junk. You are now the MFC heavyweight champion of the world. How does that feel? Sounds good. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great feeling. I'm overwhelmed, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it still hasn't really sunk in yet that I'm a champion, you know what I mean? It's my first title I've ever gone for, and it was a battle. That dude was huge. And he looked huge. He was absolutely a monster. He was like 270-something pounds. Uh, he gave you a nice little tip toss there. Uh, tell us about that. You know, I, I practice on not getting hip tossed. I, I, I practice it over and over again. And just in the heat of the battle, I was trying to press. And he just hip tossed me and put me on the ground, put him in my guard, said I, I was going to go for submission, but he posted up, so I kicked him off and stood up. He hit you with a good shot there. Didn't I didn't know what was going to happen there. Uh, you fell down, got right back up. Uh, well, did that hurt you at all? The, the punch didn't hurt, but it was so heavy. Right. Like, I've been, I've been cracked before, you know what I mean? Like, snap punches, but never just pounded right. like he folded me into the ground but right. it, it didn't hurt so I just jumped right back up you know what I mean I'm not gonna I don't stay down right. and I got up and we started fighting again and then it just just went from there so now we know what kind of chin you have eh yes sir <laughs> yes sir and um I was hitting him I was hitting him with everything like huge uh -huh. huge saw. punches he's got a great chin too oh he's got a big old head <laughs> you know was, he's just soaking him up yeah um, he presented a lot of dangers to you. It looked like uh, I thought you might go for the takedown. You didn't really go for the takedown too much there. Nah, I, I could, I could, I could still clinch. Right. Like the, I had double unders, mm -hmm. and I just my coach told me work his legs, just sit there and knee his legs for the whole first round. Slow him down because he has to carry all that weight. So I just kept uh, Muay Thai kneeing him on the side and then the inside, and then I went to the body whenever I felt him lifting his leg. I was trying to go to his body. That's where you kind of got in a little bit of trouble. Uh, go went to the low blow with the knee. Um, he went down. Looks like he was down for like four or five minutes or so. The uh, the referee gave him the full timeout. Um, he did continue, but he brought the bucket out. He was making gagging sounds like into the bucket into the middle of the ring there. What were you thinking there when he was doing that? Did you think the fight might be over? Yes, I did. I, I felt really bad. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to win a fight that way. And he, he sucked it up and he and he came back to fight. Um, it looked like his gas wasn't going to be able to last the fight. Do you think that, uh, uh, you know, even if he would have been able to continue, that uh, his gas would have held out there for you? You know, I have no idea. I know I trained hard, and I was going to keep fighting, and he just couldn't continue the fight. Right. I don't know if it's from the growing shot or, or anything. You know what I mean? I don't want to say anything. He just, he's, Jimmy Ambrose, I've watched him fight. He's a king of the cage, ex-super heavyweight champ. He's a, he's yes. a tough dude, yes. and I, I understand why. The guy's tough as nails, you know? So I, I don't take nothing away from him. The guy is a champion, and it just it, it sucks that it ended that way, but I won. You know what I mean? It's just it's, I'm the champion now, and it's you, a great feeling. You are the champion now. Ultimately, uh, I'm assuming your aspirations are to fight for the UFC title or to fight for the UFC, first of all. Um, what are your thoughts on that? I got a ton of work. I got a ton of work before we do any kind of UFC stuff. I want to come back to the MFC. Fight a I want to fight again in Hawaii. I want to thank all the people from Hawaii that supported me. So many people from Hawaii are supporting me and, and backing me. And this was for them. Like, this is from all the people in Hawaii, all the people that can't get off the island, you know. And, and it just shows that you can make it. You know what I mean? You just got to take alternate routes. Uh, for the, the Hawaii fans who are going to be watching you, any final thoughts for the fans out there who are going to be watching this on the internet? Well, well, Hawaii, we're in the building. You know, we're, we're coming. Hawaii Boys is coming. we got BJ and Kendall in the UFC, and I promise to God I'll be there next. Uh, one quick question. We've got BJ fighting uh, uh, Pulver. What's going to happen? BJ Penn all the way, 100%. Is it going to be close? No, not even. BJ's going to smash him. <laughs> thank you for your time today. We really appreciate you coming to board. I want to thank Shoot Fight Gear for everything. My gear, my warm-ups. They take such good care of me. And I appreciate it. Shoot Fight Gear. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate that. No Congratulations on being the MFC champ. Thank you very much.